So how do you get free resources for your business? You build a power team. Hey, what's up? Rafael Cortez back on the Less Business, More Profit series. Lean, effective, strategic, and simple business. Let's talk about power teams. What is a power team in the first place? Like, what am I talking about when I say power team? Okay, so when you're starting off, you have limited resources. Uh, you maybe don't have the, you know, the money to bring in people and hire them and then, you know, create all this momentum and connections and all that stuff, right? So what do you do? Um, the fact that you don't have a lot of resources doesn't mean that you can't be resourceful, right? So this is where the power team comes in. And before we jump into that, I want to ask you to please subscribe, drop your comments below, let me know your thoughts, let's start a conversation, right? Now, with that being said, uh, going back to the power team thing. A power team, it's a group of people who are professionals, are already established, they already have resources, the resources that we often lack when we're starting off. Uh, they have all of that stuff in place, right? So why would a, anybody would be interested in creating a team uh, with you or jumping into and helping you out in your uh, process as you're building the team? Why? Well, the simple answer is that it creates win-win situations. It'll create win-win scenarios. So if you're thinking uh, that people out there are not willing to put out you know, stuff for free or work for free, um, you may be right, but it doesn't mean that you don't have anything to offer, right? Think about it this way. A power team, it's, it's almost like hiring people or bringing people on board um, to, uh, to do work without you actually having to put out the, you know, the payroll for it without having that, uh, that overhead. Now they got to take some type of benefit out of the whole ordeal, right? Uh, if they're going to be working with you, they're going to be teaming up with you or helping you network, helping you build your stuff. Uh, there's got to be something in it for them as well. So look at every single possible angle that you can look at to create value for the people who, who you're going to be bringing into your power team, um, and lead with that. All right. We always lead with value, value first. Now, who belongs in your power team? It depends on what industry you're in, right? I'll use the real estate industry, for example. Uh, if we're looking at a power team, even if you have a solo operation, one person that's, you know, going to town and doing prospecting and acquisitions and listings and anything that's happening in real estate, even if it's a one person show, um, you can still build a pretty solid power team, all right? So you're going to look at industry professionals, you're going to look at vendors, uh, you're going to look at regulatory agencies, uh, and any uh, person that's in those that can be a contact, right? And start reaching out to those groups and organizations and making connections with people that work in them. Uh, for example, Power team, a great, great person to have in your power team is a solid um, uh, escrow and title officer. And I've talked about that before in other videos, but uh, it's, it's a great person to have in your power team. They are creating a win out of helping you win. All right, so you go to them, you tell them, hey, listen, help me out. I need some, you know, support in marketing. I need this, I need this, I need that. I also want to have somebody in my power team that I can send deals to on a regular basis. And um, and then you start nurturing that connection, right? Now, if we move industries and we start talking about, I don't know, the gym uh, industry or fitness industry and then a restaurant industry, uh, you can build, you know, similar relationships with vendors, right? If you have uh, networking events that you're putting together and you're promoting that kind of stuff, build a power team, people who are going to benefit out of the exposure that you're getting now you're starting to put this whole ecosystem in place and what happens is that uh, you're leveling up along with other people right so what happens here uh, too is is you're tapping into their experience you're tapping into their resources and you're massively expanding your network because now you're tapping into their rolodex so anytime you bring somebody into your power team um, it means that your business is having that much more reach all right so your power team again it's the, uh, the group of people that you almost want to have on speed dial. If something comes up and you have a question, you know that you have an attorney in your power team that you can reach out to, all right? Uh, if something comes up and then you're running low on, on, on supplies or whatever, you know that you have a vendor in your power team that you can reach out to. Along the same lines, you're going to have contractors, you're going to have marketing professionals, you're going to have you know just about everything in between uh, to help you out. So the point here is to have a... A, uh, a solid list, a solid contact database of people who you have on speed dial that you know are gonna be working with you. This does not happen if you don't create those relationships. So anytime you set off to build a relationship or make a connection with somebody, make sure that you're leading with value. Keep that in the forefront and um, if they are fit, if you feel like that's somebody that should be inside your power team, um, bring them in, have that conversation with them and let them know that they're your preferred 
person. They're your go-to person for whatever that is, right? They're your go-to attorney. They're going to be your go-to escrow officer. They're going to be your go-to business development manager. They're going to be your go-to consultant. You know, whatever it is that you're covering, um, make sure that you let them know. That way they know that you're, uh, they're in your inside circle. That'll create rapport. It'll also create reciprocity uh, with them. And I have people in just about every single aspect of life inside my power team. Everything from professional to the personal side, right? So I have power team trainers, I have power team uh, mental coaches, power team consultants, and everything in between. At the end of the day, what I am doing with this is creating my own little mastermind. And it's people who I can go to for resources, for answers, uh, for connections. If I have something great to offer and I know somebody in my power team can use it, I can go to them as well. So it's, a, it's both a give and take relationship. But if you build your power team, you're gonna have a solid foundation uh, and and you're gonna know where you stand, right? Even if you're a solo operation, if you're one one man show, one you know one girl show, it doesn't matter. It uh, it uh, you can always build a foundation based off of other people's network, resources, and experience. Put together your power team. Figure out what that power team looks like for you. Uh, what it looks like for your industry. Again, I use the the real estate example where you have a power team of attorneys, a power team of escrow officers, real estate agents, uh, appraisers, contractors, and all that stuff. Um, but it you know whatever industry you're in, put it together, figure out what the main roles of people that can actually come in and help you elevate your business are and, and go to town on those. Reach out to them, have conversations, bring them in, let them know they're going to be inside your power team um, and you're building up that relationship, right? Stay focused, you got this.